Hello, I'm Steve Scully. You may have seen me from time to time on the C-SPAN networks or watched some of the programs that I've produced. I'm also a parent and strongly support the wonderful work of First Candle. My wife and I lost our firstborn daughter to SIDS and our firstborn son was a stillbirth. As a result, we have seen the incredible work this organization does for families and for our nation's babies. Throughout its 40 years, the expertise and the credibility of First Candle has made it a leader in saving babies' lives. So as you watch this video, I ask that you keep in mind the following staggering statistics. The U.S. infant mortality rate ranks only 44th in the world. This means that 43 nations do a better job of getting their babies to their first birthday healthy and safe. The vast majority of the more than 4,500 sudden, unexpected infant deaths each year may be prevented with education alone. SIDS remains the leading cause of death for babies one month to one year of age, and 26,000 American families are devastated by stillbirth each year. We can do better than that, and you can help. For families, First Candle is the light that helps them through the darkness after the death of their baby. One of the reasons we uh, uh, follow organizations like First Candle is uh, it's a way for us to keep Lucy uh, with us, to, to advocate for other couples that may be going through the same thing, to uh, help further research and uh, help find answers where answers can be found. We lost Lucy in August of 2007, and um, funny thing, we found out we were pregnant with Lucy on January 5th, 2007, and on January 5th, 2008, we were pregnant again, and we were pregnant with this very precious and special little boy who brought hope back into a life that um, Watson always says that we had Lucy-sized holes in our heart. And although Owen is an insensitive, he's not the same as Lucy. But he does a pretty good job of filling our Lucy-sized hole in our heart. Giving parents the ability to support research gives them the hope that one day, other parents will not have to endure the sudden death and pain of losing a precious baby. We could take this and we could be bitter forever that we lost a child and we don't know why, or we could be better and we could be better for all the other babies and the pregnant moms that I see in the airports and the malls. And um, if, if us doing that makes a difference and if us um, doing a fundraiser or attending things like this, then um, his five months meant something. And um, he's done more in his five months than I have at 35. So I tell everyone I know about First Candle because they've been really, really helpful in, in just um, kind of leading us through the whole process um, from the first tournament to now where, you know, we can kind of help other people tell them about how they can help and do their part with fundraising. Um, from that to the Memorial Fund, you know, we've got some people that don't want to take part in golf or golf's not their thing, so they just make straight donations to, to First Candle and Holton's name. and. Um, you know, I think it's a great relationship. I think that um, they do what we want with the money. They, you know, we really feel like it's not just going into a black hole. And if uh, they have ideas that our money can be better used somewhere else, we were partners in that. Um, it's really cool that we can put on an event in our area and say that 100% of our proceeds goes to SIDS research and advocacy. And that's, that's what people want to be a part of. They don't want to fund someone's pockets. They want to fund making a difference, and that's what I feel like First Candle has really helped us do. Participating in grassroots advocacy gives parents a voice. Through First Candle's Day on the Hill events and letter writing campaigns, parents have the power to influence congressional leaders. The result? More support to increase the funding for critical infant health and survival issues. 
My son was four and a half months old. Dayton Lee was Mullen, and uh, I was sleeping with him uh, on a firm mattress on the floor with one blanket, one pillow. I was not drunk, I was not on drugs, I was not on medication, I was not overly tired, I was not obese. And um, at about 10 till 8 in the morning, um, my, I woke up to my mother-in-law screaming, you're laying on top of the baby. I mean, there's words, but they don't come out very well. I mean, he was just a baby, but he's not just a baby, you know, like, I think if the one-year-old, he would have been the two, three, four, he'd be six years old now. I wonder if he would play with, you know, the little boy down the street, if they'd be friends. I wonder if, you know, if he'd like his teacher. I wonder if he'd, you know, be ornery. <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, I don't just miss, like, the baby. Like, every year, it's just like, I miss, like, a whole different person. I don't know, that might sound crazy. First Candle has been very supportive of me and um, my advocacy efforts. Uh, I can call their office anytime if I'm having a bad day or, you know, just need to vent or you want to talk about something specific. Someone's always there to answer the phone and you know, to settle me down and give me encouraging words. Um, they give me an opportunity to speak and let my story be told and they essentially are letting my son's voice be heard and they're going to save babies because of it. First Candle's Kicks Count campaign is recognized as the first proactive strategy that may help reduce the risk of stillbirth. Think of this. More than half of the 26,000 stillbirth deaths annually happen suddenly during the last trimester of a woman's pregnancy. Well, I had been hearing radio ads in our, in our area for the Count the Kicks program, and, and I remembered how it had just been on my radar when I was pregnant with Danny. So when he was eight months old, I sent First Candle an email just to thank them for their awareness program because I know that if they hadn't been out there, that my life could be very different right now and I can't imagine him not being in it. Um, so since then, um, I've been working with First Candle and um, doing media, um, doing interviews with media and just trying to get the word out in my area about the kit count so um, maybe another baby and family can benefit like we did. We live in a time where significant value is placed on those that devote time and resources to causes that affect the health and welfare of our nation. Our partnerships impact our ability to save infant lives. With your support, we will be one step closer to a future where babies survive and thrive because every baby deserves a first birthday.